Maria, this home's a total loss, a real nightmare overnight here on Cottage Street. It all happened in the rear of the yellow building, but because everything's so tightly packed, the adjacent homes had to all be evacuated. People ran out no shoes, no clothing. They're being helped by the Red Cross at a local hotel while officials investigate the cause. <laughs> The rear of the three-story Chelsea duplex became a raging inferno as residents slept. A couple of 911 callers saw it from the beginning. It looks like a grill or something, or something caught on fire. Okay, where is the grill? It's on uh, the first floor porch. It should have been off. By afternoon, some of the 30-plus displaced residents returned to their Cottage Street apartments to gather charred belongings. Marco Ramirez is part of a family of eight and lived on that first floor. Just to start from zero again. Okay, what else could we do? Did you see the grill on fire in the back? There was no grill. No, like it's blow, boom. You heard a boom, an explosion? He, he heard, yeah. Other residents tell New Center 5 they heard a loud booming sound before seeing the flames. Many watched a teenage boy rescued by ladder from the third floor by firefighters. Everyone else scrambled around midnight to self-evacuate from the five alarm blaze. How did you get out? You just walked out through the smoke? Just run, just running. Just ran out? Yeah. The entire rear of the structure was burning. Um, on all three floors, the porches are gone. They started waking up everybody from the other. They started ringing doorbells and my younger sister as well. When I wake up, I see the fire. I take the kids, my wife, and run away. <laughs> The fire victims and their neighbors, they agree on one thing. Everyone is pretty traumatized by this blaze. Again, they're still investigating. Two firefighters received non-life-threatening injuries, including one who was bitten by a dog during the rescuing. We're live in Chelsea. Rondella Richardson, WCVB News Center.